Good evening, everyone. So I'm back. I had to take um, a little break. You know, um, the situation that happened last week, If for those who know, up in New York State, upstate New York, it, it was just too much. I had to take a break. I had to take a break. So I want to talk about um, everyone's favorite person that they can't stand. Hassan Campbell. So Hassan Campbell did upload a couple of days ago where he spoke about Remy Ma getting a street named after her in the BX. Okay. Now, for those who know, the Bronx is basically literally speaking about 24 blocks from where I live. Believe it or not, it's about 20. It starts around 128th Street. And it goes all the way up to like 250 something street. And this dude is highly upset over Remy Ma getting a street named after her. Now, I'm going to say something that may not be the nicest, but I'm sick of this fucking clown. I'm sorry. And I know I'm not two minutes in this live, but I think he is just a deplorable, horrible person. And I even cut off the video. I just wanted to just hear what it was so that I could comment on it. I clicked it off. So those that can really stomach listening to him from the beginning of end, I really applaud you guys. You guys are very, 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 very strong. Okay. But for me, I just, I just couldn't do it because he's just a vile human being. First of all, Remy Ma has a name, has a street named after her. She put in the work to do so. First of all, the woman has different charities. She has a charity where she focuses on women who were incarcerated, being able to have an easy reentry into society. She also has a charity for families. Then she also does charity work. For um like different um places throughout the country. For instance, when he was buying all those multicolored hats, those different type of hats at that store up in the Bronx, and he made the video about it, she was doing the work of the providing clothing necessities for those children in that fire up in the Bronx. Okay? Now he did say that he donated. Later on, but the thing was that why didn't he make a video of the donations that he was contributing to the families instead of just making a video buying hats? And it was like a, a, a disgusting mockery of the tragedy that occurred up there with those families. And you talk about all this money that you bring in. Oh, one month I brought in 60 something K, the next month I brought in 50 K, and then I'm not making any money anymore, which is why you pulled that stunt with leaking that audio about Nipsey Hussle. You only did it to get your views back up. And if you go online and type in the amount of money that he made the past two months, you will see it increase and you will see that dip the couple of months prior. So he wasn't lying, but he did that to get his views up and to get his money up. And he achieved that goal. But my thing is this, you can't get mad at Remy Ma getting a street named after her if the Bronx Borough president, who is Vanessa Gibson, felt that she was worthy of getting a, a name on the Rock of um, the it's the Bronx Walk of Fame. Actually, I've seen it before because my mother worked in the Bronx for pretty much 30 years as a public servant. OK, that's the Grand Concourse. If you be, if you from the Bronx, if you've been in the Bronx or if you go to the Bronx frequently, you you've seen it. OK, he's mad because Remy got one. And he's not going to get one. See, here's the thing with Hassan Campbell. Hassan Campbell wants to be at the epicenter of entertainment and hip hop. He wanted what Remy has. But a couple of people said it best on YouTube. You don't have the talent to be there. Remy is a talented person. Okay? The Bronx Walk of Fame doesn't just include entertainers. It includes community activists. It includes um, people that work in media. 
It includes um, people who work in medicine, the public service realm, like in law, education, and the Bronx Walk of Fame goals is it's continuing. It's continuous. It's like the Hollywood Walk of Fame. But Hassan wants to be there. Here's the problem, Hassan. You're too controversial because one, you got infamous. You're not famous. You're infamous for being abused by Bambada. That's how you were introduced to the world. Then what occurred is that you never took the time to get this man brought up on charges or bring him to justice. So now you want to, you're saying it's a community activist, but what are you acting upon to basically solve, you know, to resolve? What have you done but go on YouTube and really cause chaos? That's not what community activists do. So how would you be able to be acknowledged as a person on the Bronx Walk of Fame? That's what this is really about. He wants to one day be there, but he knows that he's not going to be accepted because he's infamous. He's extremely controversial. And it's like, what have you brought to the table other than being a YouTuber? That's controversial. So to Remy Ma, I congratulate her. I'm happy she got that um, Bronx Walk of Fame. Remy Ma put in the work. First of all, she's a talented um, um, hip-hop artist. She's a talented poet. And to me, I feel that, and I'm not going to say the whole thing about jail, but if Remy Ma would have been younger, Remy Ma would have gotten the same attention like... Cardi B did. Okay? Let's be honest. And she is worthy of that star. Because the woman is talented as you know what. And Hassan Campbell, you don't have the talent that this woman does. She put in the work to get that Bronx, that name and being recognized on the Bronx Walk of Fame. And with that being said, I'm signing out. Thank you for listening. Thank you for tuning in. And I'll be back soon. Later.